Hey guys, welcome. Today we'll be talking about how to create annotation for YOLO. Let's say we have these images of dogs and cat and we need to annotate. So here we have two classes, one is dog and one is cat. First, collect the data that you want to annotate. Then go to Google and type label IMG pip and then click on this link. So it will show this website and copy this comma is pip install label IMG. Then go to your terminal and create a new environment for, for your project. So conda create an new environment data annotation python i'm using 3.8 you can use a specific version or you can use the latest version of python uh, to create this environment now hit enter it will download the required files and it will create the environment It is downloading. Yep. Okay. Environment is created. Now active the environment. Conda activate uh, data underscore anno. Then paste the command that you have copied from here into here. Pip install level IMG. So it has uh, collected the packages and it has installed level IMG. Now type level IMG. And this is the application we'll be using for annotation. Open directory, go to the directory where you have saved your data that is here and select uh, that folder. You can see the other images we have here and then select change save directory. Uh, and choose the same folder so basically we're saying like okay keep the annotation file here also so this is the software and here we have two classes one is dog and one is cat so uh, to annotate that make sure that uh, this is selected as yellow we have bunch of format here but make sure this is selected as yellow that means yellow is activated here then go here and uh, you yeah display labels if it is unchecked uh, check these labels so it will show the labels after bounding boxes and then create rectangle box so this is dog you know create the rectangle box as close to as possible uh, to the object and give the name dog so this is our first class we are creating here and then on the keyboard you can hit w so it will uh, start the another bounding box now select here so this is this is also dog and then select cat here so this is our cat here and this is our cat so this is our first image we have annotated save this thing after saving you will get a text file like this so if you compare this thing with the value we have this shows like we have two classes that is class 0 for dog and class 1 for uh, cat and we have four objects here you can see one two three four and these are the bounding boxes for these four objects for these four objects and if you open this folder you will get another text file that is this is class a.txt and if you compare this with this text file you can see zero means this index that means the class zero is assigned to class dog and class one this index is assigned to class cat so let's say you have more than two classes all the classes will be listed here and their indexing will be starting from zero so if you have like let's say horse or elephant their, cl uh, their classes will be two one three because we have already zero and one here so classes will be listed in this uh, txt file and you can and their index will be starting from zero so if we talk about the values here you can see the first value that represents class id you can see this is dog here 
the second value that represents the x value of centroid so this is the center of the bounding box you can see here the third value that is y value that is y coordinate of the centroid you can see here the fourth value is the width of the bounding box and the fifth one is height of the bounding box you can see so this is the format of yellow annotation okay so this is how to do the annotation now let's go to the second picture so this is the second picture hit w on your keyboard and then select the cat here this is a cat and then dog so you can see dog is up to this point so it is like uh, it is taking some portion of the cat also but fine we have to annotate it like that only so cover the entire object doesn't matter if it is overlapping or not but you have to cover the entire object now this is stop so this is save now okay now go to the next image here select the dog now you can see the dog and this is the cat hit save and uh, go to the next picture here this is this is dog and this is the cat here this is the cat because it power is here and because this is the dog now we have completed our annotation you can see and if you go to the folder we have annotation files corresponding to each image and this is your data set now for your load training i hope this was helpful if so please like subscribe and share i'll see you in the next video till then take care